Animals can be some of the cheekiest creatures around, and whilst a lot of wild animals instinctively avoid humans in their habitats, there are those out there who simply can't resist nosing around in places that they don't belong. Just take a look at this story, when one man found something he didn't quite expect waiting for him on his car. Man finds mysterious huge animal on his car. It's not every day that you head to your car to find a giant sea creature taking a nap on the hood of it. Unless, of course, you live anywhere near Punta del Este in Uruguay, where one cheeky sea lion seems to get away with all sorts of crazy shenanigans. The mammal, who locals have named Roberto, was caught on camera lounging on top of a convertible car which had been parked in a garage near the port of the town. Due to the fishermen feeding the seals, there are a number of the animals who live at the port. Despite their familiarity with residents, local authorities still advise people not to get too close as they are still wild animals. Although Roberto didn't leave this person much of a choice, the 12-year-old sea lion, who weighs around 600 pounds, had left the port due to the high tide, which had swallowed up the land the seal usually likes to rest on. In his journey to find a comfy napping place, Roberto crossed the street and went into the garage where he made himself comfortable on the car. Because of the size of the animal, locals were hesitant to try and shoo him off, so they called in an expert, a man called Richard Tesore, who is the director of the SOS Marina Fauna Center. Once he arrived on the scene, Richard started coaxing the lazy sea lion off of the car with his favorite treat, fish. He then led Roberto back across the street and to the port. But if you hadn't guessed already, Roberto doesn't exactly like to do as he's told, so he set off on another adventure. We took him to the port, but he came back, so we ended up having lunch with him at a restaurant in the port. He is like a dog with fins. He settled down and went to sleep, said Tesori. I think it's safe to say that Roberto definitely knows who's in charge. I don't know about you, but if a sea lion wanted lunch with me, then I would definitely let it. Roberto isn't the only animal after his dinner, though, although these next animals went about getting it in a rather different way. Bear breaks into home to eat KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's finger licking good. But it turns out that humans aren't the only ones to think so. John Holden, who lives in Sierra Madre in California, was given the shock of his life when he returned home one day to see that his home had been broken into. Only the robbers were still there, and they were chowing down on a bucket of the Colonel's delicious chicken. What kind of robbers would do that? The grizzly kind. It turned out that two hungry bears had been lured to the house by the scent of the Colonel's 11 herbs and spices. Deciding that they simply had to have the food, they broke into John's house and helped themselves to whatever they felt like, making a complete mess whilst they were at it. When John arrived home, he found one of the bears loitering around outside of his house, whilst the second bear was sitting comfortably on the kitchen counter with his nose deep into the bucket of leftovers. Bewildered at the situation, the shocked man took a quick video on his phone before scaring the animals out of his home by making loud noises. John went on to say, I've had a lot of other encounters with them. I've actually had them bump into me a couple times in the backyard, but definitely never in the house like that. After clearing the cheeky creatures out of his house, the two bears remained in the garden for a while before lumbering back into the woods nearby. Although after the encounter, John might want to invest in a reinforced door to make sure he doesn't get any other unexpected visitors. Whilst these two bears had to break and enter to get what they wanted, this next animal can simply hop on down to his local pub to get his dinner. Kangaroo goes to a pub for Sunday lunch. When you're having a nice day out at the pub, the last thing you expect to see is a large kangaroo joining you in the beer garden. And yet, that's exactly what happened to these patrons in a pub in Western Australia back in 2020. Hikers at the John Forrest National Park Tavern on the eastern outskirts of Perth were enjoying a refreshing drink in the beer garden when they suddenly saw a relaxed kangaroo lope out of the pub. One of the hikers, a woman called Kathleen Stewart, captured the uniquely Australian encounter on her phone. He seemed so comfortable and confident, she said. We were sure this wasn't his first Sunday session. After interacting with the other customers for a few moments, 
Acting as if he was just like any other regular, the kangaroo then sat down to enjoy a quick meal which the staff brought out before heading off again. As unusual as this might seem to you and me, the tavern was actually once known as the place where you could have a beer with kangaroos. The iconic creatures had been dropping in whenever they felt like it for a vet-approved breakfast of muesli since the late 1990s. Unfortunately, this is no longer the case, as Western Australia's Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions put a stop to the tourist attraction on the grounds that the animals needed to forage for their own food and not rely on humans. Though it seems someone forgot to give this kangaroo the message, as he still enjoys his trips out to the pub for a delicious free meal. He's not the only animal to turn up in an unexpected place, though. Just check out this next story to see what one couple discovered hiding in one of the most unusual places in their house. Fox Hides in Woman's Washing Machine Earlier this year, 2021, a woman was shocked to find a furry little friend hiding in one of her household appliances. Natasha Prayag had just arrived back at her Streatham home in London, UK, after visiting her partner's parents. While she and her boyfriend, Adam, were grabbing their bags out of the car, a cheeky little visitor snuck up behind them and through the front door of the house. When the couple finally turned around, they were surprised to see a fox meandering around in their hallway. The initial reaction was shock and alarm, which turned into curiosity, Natasha said. Once the furry little creature noticed that it had been spotted, it bolted off further into the house. Knowing they couldn't leave a wild fox roaming around in their home, Natasha and Adam got to work trying to find the frightened little creature. They followed the fox's trail, which led them to the kitchen. But when they peered their heads around the door, there was no sign of any animal. Adam looked behind the kitchen blinds, which reached the ground, and even in the cupboard, the fox had disappeared, said the confused woman. But just as Adam was about to give up and look elsewhere, he noticed a furry little ear peeking out of the drum of the washing machine. It turned out that the small and dark place seemed to offer the curious creature a sense of comfort in the home that he had found himself in. After taking a few photos, Natasha set about trying to get the fox back out of her house. At first, the couple tried whistling at the animal and creating loud noises in an effort to scare him off. However, the fox didn't move. After noticing that their approach wasn't going to work, Natasha and Adam switched tactics and instead placed a plate of food outside in the garden. After a couple of minutes, the curious and hungry animal creeped out of the kitchen and towards the food. But it seemed not to be his favorite meal as soon as he ran off after giving it a quick sniff. Although it was unexpected, the couple thoroughly enjoyed the fox's visit as they got the chance to view nature up close. She also offered advice to anyone who finds themselves in a similar situation, stating that there are multiple charities that you can call if you ever find yourself in a fox conundrum. If you thought a washing machine was an odd place for an animal to hide, then just wait for this next story. Woman finds raccoon in her Christmas tree. Christmas is a wonderful time of year filled with fun, joy, and of course, beautifully decorated Christmas trees. But for one woman, things took an unexpected turn when one animal took a shine to her Christmas tree. Aubrey Lacobelli, who lives in Tallahassee, Florida, had the surprise of her life back in December 2020 when what she thought was a cat snuck into her house and climbed into her Christmas tree. The Flordinian woman was woken up at around 4 a.m. one morning when she heard a weird noise coming from her living room. When she got to the room, she noticed what looked like a cat hiding at the back of the decorated tree, whilst her excited dog sat next to it. Aubrey yelled at the animal to get out of her tree before trying to scare it off with a frying pan. When that didn't work, the annoyed woman sprayed some vinegar at the creature, and even tried poking it with a Christmas figurine from her fireplace mantle. But nothing would get the furry friend out of the tree. After failing to move the creature, Aubrey took a closer look at it to see what she was dealing with and noticed that it wasn't a cat at all. It was actually a raccoon. Slightly afraid and not knowing what to do, Aubrey let her dog in on the action, which made things ten times worse. The dog attacked the raccoon, knocking over the Christmas tree and getting scratched back in the process. Thankfully, both animals were relatively okay, and the raccoon, who managed to escape the dog, ran into the dining room and then into the fixture of an overhanging light. Eventually, Aubrey plucked up the courage to force the raccoon out of her home by using a broom to push at it, 
the nocturnal nuisance quickly ran off and everyone was left relatively okay, if not a little shaken up. That was definitely one unexpected present underneath the Christmas tree. I hope you've enjoyed these awesome stories. If you've ever found an animal where they shouldn't have been, let us know your story in the comments below. See you next time for more inspiring tales.